playing Linfield Middle School and welcome to the Crow's Nest. I'm Ella. And I'm Taylor and today is Friday, January 19th, 2018. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for today is about making excellence a habit. Vince Lombardi, the great football coach, said, We must pay a price for success. It's like anything worthwhile. It has a price. You have to pay a price to win, and you have to pay a price to get to the point where success is possible. Most important, you must pay the price to stay there. Success is not a sometimes thing. In other words, you don't do what is right once in a while, but all the time. Success is a habit. Winning is a habit. Winning is not a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while, and you don't do things right once in a while. You do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. You gotta play with your heart, with every ounce of fiber in your body. I've never known a man worth the salt who deep down in his heart didn't appreciate the grind, the discipline, and to win, and to win, and to win. It is and always has been an American seal, and that's just to be first, regardless of what we do. There's no room for second place. There's only one place, and that's first place. I finished second twice in my time, and I don't ever want to finish second again. But I firmly hold that a man's finest hour, the greatest fulfillment to anything he holds dear, is that moment when he has worked his heart out in a good cause and lays exhausted on the field of battle. Victorious. For lunch today, our menu will be cheeseburger or chicken sandwich, french fries, baked beans, salad, carrot sticks, and an orange. Or you can choose a PB&J grab and go or a chicken club salad. The WMS Spelling Bee will be held this morning in the gym beginning at 8.15. Contestants should arrive at 8 for instructions. The student audience is asked to be quiet and attentive during the competition. Good luck to all of our contestants. The ACT Aspire has been postponed for this week and will be given next week. We will have more details for you as they become available. 7th and 8th grade students are invited to try out for the Drama Club Spring Play at the Outsiders. Auditions will be held Tuesday and Thursday, January 23rd and 25th at 6.30 p.m. You only need to come on one of the two dates and be ready to read from the script. No other experience or preparation is necessary. Tryouts will be at Song and Dance Studio in downtown Winfield. See Mr. Kaufman if you have any questions. Today is National Popcorn Day, a day to celebrate this time. On a treat that can be sweet or savory, caramelized, buttered, or plain. However you like it, enjoy some popcorn today. 17 billion quarts of popped popcorn is how much Americans eat per year. Enough to fill the Empire State Building 18 times. 31 calories, zero grams of fat. That's what's in a cup of air pop popcorn. But don't let it go, Hollywood. A large bucket in a theater with butter and boom! You're looking at the fat and calorie equivalent of two Big Macs, around 1,200 calories with 60 grams of fat. Listen that. Three feet is how high popcorn kernels can pop. <laughs> Unpopped kernels are called old maids or spinsters. About 14% moisture is needed for a kernel to pop. Don't get it and you won't achieve the 100% popability. That's the industry goal. Pop popcorn takes up 37 times as much space as unpopped. Speaking of popcorn that takes up space, 6,510 pounds, 8 feet in diameter, here's the world's largest popcorn ball at the Indiana State Fair. 
1912 is when theatres started selling popcorn. Theatre owners initially opposed it because they thought it would be a distraction. Then they realised the snack can be more profitable than the flick. Number one popcorn producer in the world, it's the US by a huge margin and 34% of it is grown in Nebraska. There are two popcorn museums in Ohio featuring popcorn antiques like popcorn poppers, popcorn containers and popcorn advertising. Can't wait for your popcorn? Four theatres in Kansas City are testing apps that will allow customers to bypass lines for popcorn by pre-ordering from their phones. That's a look at Popcorn by the Numbers. The Crowsnets would like to wish a very happy birthday to those we missed during our snow break. On Tuesday, Miss Bozeman and Brylin Magoo. On Wednesday, Miss Barnes. On Thursday, Blake Ballard, Alexis Johnson and Andrew Hale. We hope you enjoy your day and happy birthday on Saturday to Blake Overton and on Sunday to Jim Simmons. Enjoy your special day. That's a view from the crow's nest. Have a fabulous weekend.